Now, I'm sure that most of you know the old story about the astronaut who went far out into space and was asked on his return whether he had been to heaven and seen God. And he said, yes. And so they said to him, well, what about God? And he said, she is black. <laughs> and although this is a very well-known and well-worn story, it is very profound. Because, I tell you, I knew a monk who started out in life as pretty much of an agnostic or an atheist. And then he began to read Henri Bergson, the French philosopher who proclaimed the vital force, the élan vital, and uh, so on. And the more he read into this kind of philosophy, the more he saw that these people were really talking about God. And I've read a great deal of theological reasoning about the existence of God. And they all start out on this line. If you are intelligent and reasonable, you cannot be the product of a mechanical and meaningless universe. Figs do not grow on thistles. Grapes do not grow on thorns. And therefore, you, as an expression of the universe, as an aperture through which the universe is observing itself, cannot be a mere fluke. Because if this world peoples, as a tree brings forth fruit, then the universe itself, the energy which underlies it, what it's all about, the ground of being, as Paul Tillich called it, must be intelligent. Now, when you come to that conclusion, you must be very careful, because you may make an unwarranted jump. Namely, the jump to the conclusion that that intelligence, that marvelous designing power which produces all this, is the biblical God. Be careful. Because that God, contrary to his own commands, is fashioned in the graven image of a paternal, authoritarian, beneficent tyrant of the ancient Near East. And uh, it's very easy to fall into that trap because it's all prepared, institutionalized in the Roman Catholic Church, in the synagogue, in the Protestant churches, all there ready for you to accept. And by the pressure of uh, social consensus and so on and so on, it is very natural to assume that when somebody uses the word God, it is that father figure which is intended. Because even Jesus used the analogy, the father, for his experience of God. He had to. There was no other one available to him in his culture. But nowadays, we are in rebellion against the image of the authoritarian father. Especially this should happen in the United States, where it happens that we are a republic and not a monarchy. And if you as a loyal citizen of this country think that a republic is the best form of government, you can hardly believe that the universe is a monarchy.